First tonight at 5.30, crews in Warwick are hard at work cleaning up water damage from a leak at the City Hall Annex. We first told you about this damage yesterday at 6. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with more on what crews are doing to get services up and running again, new at 5.30. Yeah, Mike Caroline, we reported yesterday when the City Annex was closed because of a flood from a leak. And today we learned everything will be back up and running by tomorrow morning. The only difference is your city office might have a new address. Our first look inside the Warwick City Hall Annex. Cleanup crews are trying to repair the building after it flooded from a leak over the weekend. You know, it's not easy to come to work and find your water, your desk underwater. Warwick Mayor Scott Avedesian said the city has been working nonstop to move the offices that were in this building to the old John Green Elementary School on Draper Ave. It's about a 10 minute drive away. Tuesday morning, we captured files being loaded onto a U-Haul truck at the annex, and then we saw boxes being rolled out into the John Green building. By tomorrow morning, people will hopefully not see any disruption with the business that they need to conduct with the city. Handwritten signs are taped on old classroom doors, tax assessor, zoning and permits, planning community development, and even the new mayor's office, even though his current office didn't flood. I am going to be there part of every day so that um, I can talk to people and get their concerns. It was an active hallway as all the city services were moved in just one day old tables and chairs and you know furniture from wherever. Plus installing new Wi-Fi so the computers can work. Tax collections are still being done at City Hall, but you can do those online as well. As for what caused the leak that shut down a building, that's still being looked into. And we're going to make the most of it and make the best of it. The mayor says this could last anywhere from two weeks to maybe six weeks. As for the cost, he says the city will have to pay a $1,000 deductible, but he believes insurance will cover the rest. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.